So basically it's just opening up the lesions. I do use just a 27 and a half gauge needle. And that helps um, to loosen anything up that's in there. Some of you have asked why I use a Q-tip instead of a comedone extractor, and I really find that this doesn't traumatize the skin as much, and I'm able to really scoop all the way from the bottom. And so that's just the, my preference. Doesn't mean that the way somebody else is doing it is wrong. It's just that I tend to work more with ethnic skin types, you know, Polynesians, Hispanics, African Americans, and you know, we just tend to have more problems with post-inflammatory conditions because of trauma to the skin. And so we really avoid um, putting so much trauma. And if you could see, I'm really, it's very visual to see where all of the filament is at. So I just work it until I get it all out. And I don't make a, a bigger incision. I've been asked about that also. And again, I, I just really like, um, prefer not to do as much trauma. If I can open up that pore um, with a smaller gauge needle, it, it really has not uh, given me a problem when I'm doing extractions. And, and it's, again, it's just, it comes out and That's basically it. Okay, I'm scooping out from the bottom. And that's basically right there is the plug. There's a difference in when you have a cyst and when you have areas where they're just filled up with filament and and so a cyst of course it's got a sac. This just has a plug, so I'm not I'm not having to make any incisions. 
I'm just cleaning out the pore. Just make just use that needle and just kind of wiggle it around to break up the impaction. Again, I just less trauma. And as you can see, there we go. Okay, I'll go back and double check that pore, make sure everything is out. And again, I'm working it from the bottom. I also use my fingers to really feel that area. It's nice and smooth. And it's cleaned up. a 30 degree angle and I just kind of move it around and there we go Make sure it's nice and clean. Everything is out and it is. Okay. Again, I always stretch that area. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good. stretch that area and you could see the perimeter and I'm going to use the back end and so there's the perimeter of that pore outer perimeter and you can see where all of the impaction is at and the filament so what you do is you don't attack it from the top but really you scoop it from the bottom and then you just start working it out This just starts to release. Again, stretch and scoop from the bottom, make sure everything is out. And there's a little bit in there. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and work this one. So, as so you can see, it doesn't have a pore, visible pore. So, with these, I do make a little incision at the top. Okay. Um, I had somebody ask about that too. And again, less trauma with a 27 and a half gauge needle. And again, you see the outer perimeter, the pore. You stretch and there we go. And you see, and you see that the pore is getting smaller. Okay, or not the pore, but the area that's filled. Again. 
I'm just working to see where everything is at. I'm working it out. Okay. Stretch it out. sack right there you can see it you pull it up um, okay and you just take that out again go back I want to make sure that this is nice and clean working it. Go back and pull that out. So he's got another one here, kind of a cluster. And so we're gonna, you can see one, two, three there. And so we're gonna go ahead and push that out. See that? And I'm just gonna go through here and make sure that's all cleaned out. For those who are waiting for our last video, um, by accident we erased it. So I'm sorry it's taken so long for us to post again. But um, I see um, this uh, client every two weeks. And so um, that's why you've had to wait a little longer. But um, thank you for your nice comments and wanting to... Uh, wanting us to go ahead and post a video.